started filming this vlog at the end of May. <laughs> We're now in mid-July and it, it's taken me this long to bring this vlog to you and I debated whether to even bring it to you at all because it's really quite pointless but I thought if I don't do this I'm just never going to bring a vlog to you so I thought do you know what I'm going to upload it and then as I always say hopefully this is the start of more consistent vlogging um, I'm hoping to vlog next week I can I can but hope but it's just like well you guys know like I work up quite a lot and I have two young children so doing this as much as I would love to be doing it all the time and be able to commit to saying I'm going to upload every week it generally isn't isn't the case and it's not even vlogging like you'll see from this vlog I have been vlogging it's just sitting down and getting the time to edit because I have so little real free time as in when I can sit and do nothing that I want to do exactly that sit and do nothing or sit and watch Barry which we're watching at the moment I just want to stare into the, the abyss sometimes and I don't often get to do that so when I do I don't really want to fill it with editing a video which sounds awful because I love doing YouTube but time to myself is very very minimal these days um so that's that's the honest explanation I actually came in here to pour myself a drink not an alcoholic drink because I don't have any which is annoying um but I actually had seen oh, what did I see this on does my bum look 40 maybe? Someone's Instagram and it was the this Fever Tree pink grapefruit soda that I didn't even know they did. And apparently if you have it with tequila, it's amazing, but I don't have any tequila is in here. Anyway, that's off topic. Um, I'm really just on here to introduce this vlog and say it was literally years ago that I started this vlog. Really sorry that I've been inconsistent. Please know that my intentions are always to be consistent. Um, so, it's quite difficult. so anyway, um, I hope that it's not completely boring, um, it ends quite abruptly, so if that isn't enough to tempt you to watch on, then I don't know what is. Okay, love you, bye. Hi everyone, good morning. Um, it's been an early start this morning, Gabe was up at five, it's very unlike him, and then Elliot woke up about twenty past five, um, it's now seven-ish, he's gone down for a nap. And I'm going to wash my face and make myself look half decent. I really need to have a shower and wash my hair, but I think I'll do that later. It's Tuesday. Yesterday was bank holiday Monday. And um, so I kind of take that as a Sunday. So I uploaded that vlog yesterday. Didn't vlog really yesterday at all because we didn't really do anything. Yes, this week, uh, I'm not doing hair until Friday. So I've kind of got, so Tuesday, Wednesday are like three days. Games at nursery on those days also. So that's great because I feel like I can get things done. Thursday my family's coming up to see us um, and then Friday I'm in the salon doing hair and then I'm actually not doing hair over the weekend I don't think um, so I've got quite a nice chilled week this week. So this morning I am going to get ready I'm going to then meet my friend for coffee I'm going to just wash my face um, and sort my skin out um, and then go and have some breakfast. Are you a bit out of it? Just woke up. I managed to have a shower um, because when I switched you last it was about seven. I didn't have to leave to take Gabe to nursery until like quarter to nine and Hainsey was downstairs so I was like do you know what I need to have a shower I'm gonna bloody have one. Ooh. Hainsey was like fine you go for it. So I've washed my hair which always feels great. There's my gorgeous angel. Oh he's got a bogey. He's got a little bogey in his nose and um, he's actually woken at slightly premature well it's not prematurely but he's not due a feed for really another 45 minutes but i generally will give or take half hour so um i'm just going to dry my hair off and then we can go downstairs and he can have a feed and you can just kind of stare at yourself stare at your beautiful self um wait where's my hair dryer so slight change of plan my friend texted me and was like can we actually do coffee later at like 11 and I was like, yes, that's fine, because I don't really have any plans today, no problem. Um, but actually, well, I, the only plans I do have was, is there like a little fluff? The only plans I do have was having to help Hainsley with his self-tape. And so that actually worked out perfectly because I dropped Gabe to nursery. When I got home, Elliot had been awake and fed and then went down for a nap. So we quickly filmed the self-tape, 
it all went perfectly well. Elliot is still asleep and now I'm walking down into town to meet my friend. So we have decided to go to Megan's. Turned from a casual coffee into like full on brunch because I was like, I'm hungry, I haven't eaten. Shall we do Megan's? Also, it's Hainsley's birthday tomorrow. Um, so my friend who I'm meeting this morning is actually babysitting for us tomorrow night and I'm taking Hainsley out for dinner. Um, but I also need to get him a birthday card from me and the kids and maybe a birthday cake. Well, no, yes, definitely a birthday cake. But yes, we're going out to a restaurant near us called Scott's, which I'm very, very excited about because it looks delicious. It's the first time we've kind of been out properly in God knows how long. Right, so I'm just watching baby Elliot, as you can see, he's looking at the camera, <laughs> hello, um, because it's bedtime, I've just put him down, just put both the boys down, sorry, I didn't explain, today just ran away with me, as, as tends to happen, so I got to um, like brunch with my friend, intended to show you what I was eating, didn't, ate it, couldn't wait had the chia, we went to Megan's, I told you that didn't I? And I had the chia and blueberry pancakes, highly recommend, they were wonderful. And then we were just chat chat chatting, we had so, so much to chat about. And then that went until basically it was time to then pick up Gabe. And then yeah, that, that was the afternoon basically and then I was making him dinner and Hainsley was here, he's now teaching um, and then he'll be back. So I've just tried to put both the boys down to bed. Gabriel napped at nursery today, so he's not asleep yet, but he's just kind of hanging out. But he is, he's kind of getting there, so he'll be off soon. Um, and then Elliot is very tired, but is refusing to sleep, it looks like. Um, so he's just laying there quite quietly, but I, I thought, let me just get the potatoes on, and then I can just run upstairs and sort him out properly. Because I'm making for dinner what I actually made last week in last week's vlog but didn't show you but it's basically those cute potatoes again and then chicken halloumi and chorizo like I kind of stir fry that all together and then we're having salad so that's our dinner but I just thought as potatoes are the things that are going to take the longest let's whack those on and then I'll run upstairs and give Elliot another little cuddle um, and hope that he drifts off to sleep but through the day, Elliot's a dream. Goes down for every nap, like, no problem. As soon as it comes to bedtime, he fucks around. Um, I actually think I might feed him. Alexa, what time is it? I might do a feed. Because he would be due a feed at this time. And now I've got the potatoes on. There's no rush to come back downstairs. So I think I might feed him and give him a cuddle and then I'm sure that will put him to sleep. Two settled angels, no problem. So what's mum doing? Putting a wash on, obviously, because that's what we do if we're not washing. We're putting babies to sleep and doing the kitchen. I hate the state of the kitchen at the end of the day. It makes me go crazy. I hate cooking in a kitchen that's already dirty. So I need to tidy that up before I start actually cooking. <laughs> Okay, so dinner doesn't look that appetizing, but trust me, it's delicious. But I thought I'd just show you, this is what the potatoes turn out like. So maybe it looks slightly more appetizing with the salad on it. But I was just saying to them, Haynes, this meal doesn't look that appetizing, but it's delicious. Tell them. This meal doesn't look that appetizing, but it's delicious. <laughs> Did I say it right? <laughs> this concoction here is what makes it not look great, but it's delicious. Um, but yeah, with the green salad, it looks a bit fresher, doesn't it? Not just like char-grilled beige. But I'm filming dessert time. Oh, I'm vlogging. <laughs> I just said that. Like, <laughs> like I was talking to my granddad. I'm vlogging, granddad. <laughs> vlogging. <laughs> vlogging. I'm having yesterday. Casey always loves a cheesecake. And these were on offer yesterday, and I wasn't going to get any dessert because I'm not... I don't always need to do that, but I do love a key lime pie. And these were on offer, so who am I to say no? 
are it's wednesday it's hainsey's birthday today and we are not really doing that much today we're going out for dinner later which is very exciting but i am just going to pop out so gabe's at nursery and it's downstairs with daddy i'm just about to pop out to town because i need to pick up a couple of things namely birthday cards for Hainsley and birthday cake because we're going to do that when Gabe finishes nursery and then I also need to there's some leggings I need to pick up from um, Marks and Spencer that I ordered for Elliot and I also need to go to the beauty salon to get like my eyebrows and my, my top lip done and stuff like that. I've been into town now um, and I'm just going to show you I mean I haven't actually picked up anything that exciting Oh my god, I've just thought, did I even tell you I was going into town? Have I even started this vlog this morning? Can you tell I'm a bit chaotic today? The main reason I had to go into town is because I had ordered some leggings for Elliot from Marks and Spencer's that were click and collect. So I had to get, the, get those, so they're here. I'll open them later and show you. They're not very exciting, they're just the ribbed leggings, but I really like, on a baby especially, I really like leggings and a, like, a big oversized t-shirt or like jersey top. I then needed to get Hainsley a birthday cake uh, and this says reduce so it looks like I'm cheap but they were all reduced um he's not a traditional birthday cake type lover he doesn't mind a Victoria sponge but his favorite cake is carrot cake so I just got my little carrot cake from Waitrose my family's coming tomorrow so I may get more cake we might have more cake and like a bigger kind of do tomorrow I was in two minds about when to do cake and cards I also got cards because I wasn't sure if we should do it before nursery or after, but I've decided after, um, which is why I've got this today. I should have really got all of this sorted yesterday and I didn't. And I've got cards as well. One from the boys, which says, Daddy, happy birthday. The card selection, I find picking cards so hard. Anyway, there's two bears on it. I wish there was three because we, we kind of call each other little bears. It's like our little thing. And then the one card for me, like quite a shit selection but i ended up just getting this so i'm going to write those when i get back and then we'll do but like cake and cards when gabriel's back from nursery before we go out to dinner <laughs> is that fun <laughs> what? look at those little teeth <laughs> oh. hello hello is that a gorgeous angel um i just thought i'd show you these are the leggings that i really like for elliot for some reason, in M&S, the store, they just don't seem to have much stock. And also, they used to do these in a lot more colours. I have so many pairs of these striped ones from when Gabe was a baby, because I just loved them. Actually, you can see the jumper that Elliot's currently got on is the same stripe, because this is also M&S. They don't seem to have this stripe anymore in M&S. I don't know if it's like COVID-related brexit related maybe they can't get the fabric i don't know they don't have as much selection of these leggings so these are the only colors that were available so i got two gray because we're heading into kind of spring summer so i thought light gray is probably going to be favorable and then these blue ones and i don't actually love this color blue it's just it's a navy but it's not it's not navy enough i think it's a bit too blue i bought some i ordered some some tops from arquette that came that i was gonna try on with you but i don't know he might be getting a bit tired so i might have to take down for a nap i'm not sure about one of them i need to try these on but this i'm not sure about this t-shirt i just don't think i love the stripe this is the oversized t-shirt in white so it's the same as that striped one but a white one and this is one of the pima cotton ones in grey yeah this is great that can stay love it will be great with jeans if i can ever get back into jeans again i think i like it it's a little bit see-through but you know we can work with that yeah i just rolled up that sleeve to see what that would look like i don't think i love it i look i, I like the neckline um it's just quite see-through but for a basic to throw on like underneath things yeah, i think i like this top um i'm just gonna have to rock it if you can see my bra then you can see my bra do you know what i mean i'm a carefree hun that's what i do if i want to show off my bra i'm going to show off my bra so there we go this is a no from me i just i hate this stripe like it's not i don't know i don't even know why i ordered it now that i'm looking at it i'm like why did i think i would like this stripe like it's just not look at when i look in the viewfinder i think oh yeah maybe that could work that's quite cute but then i look at like in real life and i just think no i'm not I think every time I put this on, I'm going to be like, I really hate this stripe. So this I'm going to send back. The other two I'm going to keep. Okay, thanks for your help. Great. Okay, so got the, this very small amount of, I really know what, con they're not condiments, are they? But like, sun-dried tomatoes, ginger, 
pesto chili tomato puree and butter <laughs> basically the things that were in the shelves of my fridge door amongst many other things um that had been there for way too long and it had and had gone off so i finally <laughs> went through and washed all those jars out put them in recycling took these off and i'm now cleaning i'll show you this way hello um i'm now cleaning said shelves um i've been meaning to clean the fridge for ages and whenever i have like some kind of downtime i think i should clean the fridge but then i've been just really tired so i haven't done that over and i've just kind of sat and stared into the abyss last week i cleaned the red straw and the bottom of the fridge and then that was it this week i've cleaned these shelves should just leave them to drain off for a little bit and i might just go and sit <sighs> In the living room, Hainsey's just gone upstairs to have a shower, Elliot's down for a nap, um, and I might just sit on the sofa. I don't know, like, I really struggle with doing nothing since, definitely since having two kids and since going back to work. I feel like when Gabe, when I just had Gabe and I was working, when I had downtime, like, I embraced it. I'm sure I did. But for some reason, I have even more limited time now, so when I do have a moment of not really having to do anything i really struggle to just sit and think oh i'll just go and sit and like watch youtube or just sit and do nothing i'm constantly like okay what do i need to do what do i need to do like oh, or i need to do this like, i should do that now whereas it's like no i could just sit like i'm busy tomorrow friday saturday so why not just take this afternoon to just sit and chill that extractor fan is absolutely filthy do you see what i mean <laughs> Do you know what it is as well? My friend is babysitting tonight for us, obviously, because we're going out for dinner. And how many times am I going to say in this vlog we're going out for dinner? Can you tell I'm excited? So yeah, my friend's babysitting and she would never judge me, but I'm half in that mum mode of like, I need to clean the house because we've got company this evening and they're going to think I'm a dirty tramp if I don't clean it. Painsley's gone to pick up Gabe from nursery. Elliot's napping. I painted my nails just to spruce myself up a little bit for this evening because I wasn't able to get like a manicure or a pedicure. I went over to the shop. Well, because it's Hainsey's birthday, both Hainsey and I bought a lottery ticket. And then I went to the shop to get my friend who's babysitting for us snacks by her request. Well, not by her request. I asked her what snacks she wanted. Oh, I've put them up here so Gabe doesn't see them when he gets home. But basically plain Pringles. Um, and then there's chocolate buttons. Sorry, also just ignore how much random stuff is on top of my fridge. Um, and then I bought her two cans of gin and tonic and a sparkling elderflower. I'm just sitting here just feeling anxious and I don't know why. Like, my friend that's babysitting for us has babysat before. Like, I'm not anxious about leaving the kids. I don't even know why I'm anxious. I just feel like i feel excited to go out <laughs> but i just feel a bit like like gabe will be in bed before my friend comes elliot may or may not be again not a big deal but i just feel a bit anxious about getting ready getting the kids in bed is this what happens when you become a parent like when there's any time like a date or some time together is this how i'm gonna feel am i gonna be anxious like two hours before it starts i, I think i've kind of been anxious all day Anyone who lives on a road that has permitted parking can understand the rage that you feel when a random car just parks outside your house for days on end. The last time I saw you was when we went out for dinner, which was glorious, which I'll catch you up on shortly, but I am heading into the salon because I'm doing hair this afternoon. I've got two cousins coming in. Um... But before that, I just need to pop to the hair shop because I'm doing a balayage tomorrow that I need to get some colour for. And I think I'm also going to pop to Sainsbury's just to get myself something to eat. Okay, when it comes to Vivids, this is what we need. Pulp Riot. These toners are great if ever you want white. This one, the Icy Toner gives an amazing white result if you've got hair that you want to tone white i think i want cupid Ooh, i think i definitely want cupid 
Okay, I'm here. I made it. I'm at the salon. Did I say to you? So I've got two clients this afternoon. That's why I'm in. So I just had to run to the hair shop to go and get colour for tomorrow um, because I'm doing a balayage and the lady who I'm seeing is a new client and she says she uses like pink. I don't do a lot of vivids. Um, I actually do have one other client who I tone her balayage pinky, um, but not, I don't do vivid bright pinks or vivid bright colors just at all. Um, but I don't mind a bright pink. I can get down with that. And so I went to the hair shop up the road. I'm quite lucky because I've got a Sally's and a Capital. Sally's is walking distance from here and Capital is just a short drive. <clears throat> and Capital is actually much better um, because they do this brand called Colt Briar. And Colt Briar is the brand if you want Vivid. This is a semi-permanent, but it's actually, you don't mix it with developer. So um, it's like a wash in, wash out situation. Um, and that's what you need when you want a Vivid colour. So yes. I'm quite excited to see how that turns out tomorrow. Oh, I was going to catch up about Scott's, but I think we'll probably have to catch up probably later. Hainsley's out this evening, so once I finish, once I finish here, I'll go home, and then put the boys to bed, and then Hainsley's heading out for the evening, so we can hang out a bit later. Oh, hi there. So it's a bit later. I finished doing hair. I'm home. Hainsley actually isn't going out tonight, so um, we'll probably watch. Well, he just mentioned the Philip Schofield interview, um, rather than an episode of Succession. But I'm just going to make my dinner. Hazy's ordering something. Because I thought he was going out, I had my heart set on the Alistair Roman shallot pasta, or Charlotte pasta. Did I do, have I made this, that on this vlog before, or was it on Instagram? Either way, um, if I haven't mentioned it before, I really love Alison Roman, who is like a chef from New York, and she does this very simple pasta, but it's delicious. And I thought, I'm going to have that for dinner. And ever since then, I'm like, that's all I want. So Hainsley is now ordering something. But I, I was so looking forward to this pasta that I don't even want to order anything. So I'm making this. He's ordering his food. And that's what we're doing. Just yummy shallot pasta with some Grand Padano. Oh, ignore my nails. With some Grand Padano and parsley to finish. <laughs> right, where's my keys? We're just going to drop Gabe's nursery. Then I'm going to Pilates because she's back, okay? She's a Pilates mum, that's what's happening. That's where she is. Um, right, I should turn you off because I can't drive and vlog. Um, so, bit of a rush. Do I look red? No, not really. I can't even really see this. It's very dark. So, did I mention it's my client who teaches Pilates but just women's fitness? So she does a postnatal class just outside um, by the river very near me and it's £10 and it's like 45 minutes and it's other mums with and you can bring a baby so yes I've been feeling like I need to get back into exercise so I just went into that and it was so good I feel refreshed revived rejuvenated but yeah it was a bit of a rush dropping gate to nursery and then coming here so I'm just filling you in now Okay, so we're actually just in the John Lewis car park because we're going to go to Waitrose. I just went to Sainsbury's, but the reason I went to Sainsbury's was to get muesli for Gabe, a particular kind of muesli that we, we, he has for breakfast. And that they don't have that muesli, so I've got to come to Waitrose. But I also need to, have I already mentioned this? My friend's coming over this evening. I'm gonna cook us dinner. Um, I'm gonna have some wine. So I'm also gonna pick up some bits um for that um right, we're back from from wherever i've been um got the rosé in my hand so i mentioned my friends coming over to coming over this evening to have dinner and some wine so i grabbed some wine just now we went to waitress needed this is what i needed to get i've spoken about this before this is the muesli that we have that gabe really likes and he has that with yogurt pretty much every morning for his breakfast but this is also the granola that we like so that was on offer so i grabbed one of those as well because we're we are running a bit though Oh, I need some more tomato paste for the pasta this evening. I don't actually know if I use this one because I have still got a little bit left of this one. Um, so there we go, that's my food shop haul. Um, I'm now going to just do some washing up and then make lunch, slash like brunch lunch, because I'm absolutely starving because I've literally had a banana this morning. 
Oh, hello, good morning. It's a beautiful sunny Friday, and Ellie Bells and I are just heading down into town because, like most other parents, perhaps today and this weekend, I'm panic buying things for the hot weather next week. <laughs> Not panic buying, they've got enough. Well, Gabe's got enough. I might get him another couple of pairs of shorts if they've got them in H&M, but Elliot has literally just his vests, so I need to get like shorts and t-shirts for him. M&S also do some quite cute like all-in-one rompers for babies, so I'm gonna go and have a look in there. Also need to get things like SPF for both of them, the one that I really like for kids. Because um, we've got some, but it's from last year, so I don't know if maybe I need to get a new one. We need bubble baths. I need nail varnish remover still because I didn't get any the other day and I need to pop to Waitrose to get things for dinner. Um, so that's what we're doing. I've also got a, well, I say a summer dress. It's not that summery, it's just a dress, but I just feel like summer's here. I love it. I found a very small nail polish remover, which is great for me because I barely use it. So I often buy a big bottle and just don't ever use it up. And then this, you can kind of see actually it's sold out because I think everyone loves it. This is the best SPF for kids. I get the sensitive and sun allergy one because Gabe sometimes has sensitive skin um, and it's on offer if you've got an advantage card. So yeah, I really, really recommend this SPF. So I came to get these because they only do them in boots. They used to do them in Sainsbury's but they don't anymore. Back from town um, and I'll show you the things that I bought. Basically, yeah, I got the SPF from Boots, which is my favourite, favourite one for the kids. Um, nail brush remover, as you saw, and some bubble bath. And then shorts. Um, so Gabe is wearing these in navy today. And I don't think we bought them. I think someone else bought them for us. But I wanted to get more of them because they're just so nice. They're like a chino short. And H&M had them and they're £5. Um, I don't know. I think they've been reduced. So I got this stripy pair for him and this uh, beige pair. They just look so cute, just with a plain white tee and like vans and socks as he's wearing today, or obviously like jelly shoes or Crocs. Um, and then I grabbed this pair for Elliot just because they're like quite soft and like jersey-like. They're like a waffle fabric. And then Elliot needs t-shirts, and I, I wouldn't have picked these specifically, but it's all they had in the store, but then they came in a pack of three, so they're like, it's a bit better to get the packs of three, because they work out cheaper than just buying one t-shirt. Um, so there's this one with dinosaurs on it. I mean, when you're a boy mum, whenever they put prints on things, it's basically like dinosaurs or fucking tractors. So there we go. Um, so that with dinosaurs, but it's not too offensive. It's actually quite sweet. Um, and then two just plain ones. So this kind of turquoisey one and this navy one. So I'm now, I'm gonna put him in this t-shirt and he's got some shorts that came with, oh, he's getting tired. We went to a christening um, and I bought this set. It was a pair of shorts and it came with a shirt, but these shorts are actually really nice. However, these are, oh, ones. these are Gabe shorts. These are not the shorts that, these are the shorts. Why have I got Gabe shorts in here? Or maybe because they're too small for him. Sorry, these are the shorts that came with the shirt that we uh, bought for him to wear to a christening that we went to a few weeks ago. However, they're only four to six months, so I think, I don't know that they're gonna last particularly long, because Elliot is a big boy, but I'm just gonna put him in this top and these shorts for now. He's due for a nap. Uh, um, so yeah, I'm just going to get him dressed now, go downstairs, because Hazy needs to do some things, and then we might go out again a bit later. Um, 